Hey guys, so the tea is Kylie Jenner came out with some brow products finally and your sister right here She bought three of the products and she's gonna review them for you tonight so The first product that I got is the Kylie Jenner brow pencil. I am definitely a brow pencil kind of girl I don't usually use like pomades or shadows Sometimes I'll use a little bit of a shadow just to make the brow look even better, but that's added in after I've done it with the brows. This is what the packaging looks like. It's this like nice matte black and it has the silver writing on it. I got mine in the shade cool brown. I was almost thinking about going with the shade blonde, but I didn't know if it would be too light. But anyways, this is what the packaging looks like, or sorry, the pencil actually looks like. It says Kai brows on it and then it has the spoolie at the end, which that is so essential. And then I'm going to show you guys a quick swatch as well, which just looks a little bit dark for me, but I was assuming it was going to be really close. I'll swatch it next to my Anastasia brow pencil and taupe and then you guys can see what you think. Um, there wasn't one that was taupe, they just had blonde, so I was unsure. That is what it looks like. The Anastasia brow, I right now I have the brow definer, so I'm just gonna swatch that one. But I do like their brow pencil as well. Probably a couple shades darker, but it's actually not that much of a difference. I'll show you guys. So that's the Kylie one, and then that's the Anastasia in taupe. So it's pretty similar, maybe just a little bit darker, like a hair darker. I've also really been into brow gels lately. I currently Currently, I'm using the Anastasia one as well, and I picked up the Kylie Jenner brow gel. It's the same kind of packaging, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So it's that baby pink packaging again. And it just says the Kai brow on it. And if you guys want to know prices, I will go ahead and leave that in the description box or maybe I'll put it up on the screen here, whatever I'm feeling when I'm editing. But if it's not up on the screen, make sure that you look in the description box and I will link the product and also the price of the product as well. And then I also got one more product. I got the Kylie Jenner brow highlighter. I kind of just felt like this would complete the look. So that's why I ended up getting it so that you can kind of get the full effect. And I got mine in the shade Light Matte. They had a couple highlighter shades and then they had other matte colors as well. But I went with the lightest one because I'm pretty fair. That is what the packaging looks like. The same thing, just that pretty pink packaging. And then I'll swatch this for you guys as well. This is what the applicator looks like. Ooh, it's very buttery too. I feel like you guys probably can't even see that because it matches them pretty well, but that is the swatch. But like I said, it felt really buttery when I was swatching it, so that's good. All right, so let's get into actually trying out these brow products. I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you guys can see a little bit better. I don't think I've ever done a brow routine either, so this will kind of be, well actually, did I do one? I don't know, I can't remember if I've ever shown how I do my brows, so this will kind of be a way to show you guys. I maybe have shown it in a tutorial before. I can't remember. But anyways, so first we're gonna start out with the cool brown brow pencil. And I'm just gonna first start by brushing my brows out. I really like the fluffy look for brows, but I don't always get that effect. I try though. And I just like to brush my brows out as I go. It's gonna continue to outline my brows. It definitely feels creamy. It does remind me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has that same kind of formula to it if you guys have tried that before. And then I'm just gonna keep using the spoolie so that it doesn't look as harsh. And then the next thing I like to do, I think I'm just gonna make the top a little bit more dramatic because sometimes I don't, I don't know, it depends on the mood I'm in, how my brows come out. They're a little more thick or they're a little bit more thin and natural looking. Just depends on the mood. So far, so good. I feel like that looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna start doing small strokes to fill in a little bit. This is a really nice spoolie too. 
Oh, that's a random thing, but it's nice. All right, and then I'm just going to add in some more strokes so that my brows almost probably come to about here. And I just do upward motions for that. So I'm just gonna start taking the brow pencil and creating little hair strokes. And then making sure I take the spoolie pretty good there because I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm just gonna fill in under here just a little bit more. I think that looks pretty nice. I'm mostly looking at it on camera, so let me look off camera and I'll let you guys know what I think. Yes, I really like this. Some products, eyebrow products that I've used before, they don't get the cool brown right or they don't have enough shade selections and I don't look good with warm eyebrows. It just doesn't look right on me for like my natural hair color. My natural hair color is actually about the color of my brows. It's kind of like a cool brown. Um, when I was younger, I had blonde hair, but it just changed when I got older. Yeah, this looks very spot on and natural. Like I said, I love the spoolie. The formula is very similar to the Anastasia brow pencil. And I believe this is a little bit cheaper too. And I, it doesn't look too dramatic at all. I feel like it created a really nice brow there. I'm actually really loving these brows, you guys. I kind of actually like this better than the Anastasia one. And it is cheaper, so just saying. But I'm going to clean up my brows and I'm going to use the highlighter that she came out with. And like I said, I got mine in the shade Light Matte. And this felt super creamy and I like, it seems really um, user friendly. Like you can just literally take this and apply it right underneath the brows. Usually what I'll do is use concealer and clean up underneath the brows, um, but this is really a nice way to do it. So I'm just gonna run this all along. And I'm just going to go above as well when I really want to create a nice shape. I will do this. I don't do this every day, but I think that's definitely enough. It definitely looks full coverage. I'm going to start blending the product out. I'm just going to use a flat brush and start blending it up. And then I think I'll just rub it in with my fingers a little bit just to make it adhere a little bit better. It's a very thick consistency and it does look a lot lighter on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera if it's picking it up. But you can even, I mean, I don't think it's too off from what my concealer shade would be. So I think I use too much as well. I don't think you need to use as much as I did. I definitely cleaned it up, but I do feel like I like just using my own concealer to do this because this came out like it's very thick. I'm going to set my brows using the brow gel. This is what the applicator looks like. It's very small, especially if you use the Anastasia one. It's a lot more smaller than that. Ooh, that brush though. So this applicator almost kind of has like a flare at the bottom, if you guys can see that. And that makes it so easy to get that feathered look with your brows. So I really like that. So you guys can see this is one brow without uh, the brow gel and this is the one with. So it looks a lot more fluffy, which I personally really like that look. I know, I know not everyone likes it, but I think it just looks a little bit more natural when you do that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And it almost like makes them look a little bit more full. I don't know. This is from a distance how the brows look. And this is them up close. I just wanna end this video off by giving you my final thoughts on these products, which ones I would recommend and which ones I wouldn't. So the first product that I had tried was the brow pencil. I would highly recommend this product to you guys. It is cheaper than the Anastasia one, and I honestly like the color better than the Anastasia, so I would pick this up in the future. And I would say no to the highlight. I thought it was too thick 
Personally, I just like to use concealer, so I'm going to stick to that method. I will still use this since I bought it, and I think it was like $14, so I'm still going to use it up, but I would say skip on this. Definitely get the brow gel. I really loved the brush on this. It made it super easy to create that feathery brow look. So definitely pick up this if you pick up the brow pencil as well. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more makeup reviews like this. And leave any comments down below of future videos you would like to see from me. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram. I will leave it listed up here. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!